Well, YouTube, I've been turned around. Um, Rebecca Watson pointed out in her video on the response to the Elevator Guy post that there was an awful lot of misogyny uh, in the comments section that people were um, asserting some pretty awful things, uh, making rape comparisons, as she pointed out at the, at the conference. And she's very right. I mean, you know, I, and I didn't initially think so. And then I saw stuff like this. Um, oh, what was the first one? Um, yes, I think you're right. The specifics don't matter too much. The main thrust was her feeling of vulnerable which most women have, in constant fear of the unwanted shaft in the pussy. But I think in the developed world, the police are their lifeline. Women police, that is. In Saudi, I imagine Arabia, they mean, the poor women have to put up with rape daily by their husbands and others. Western women, like Valerie, need to go to Saudi for a few months to return with empathy. That was from JT Multiverse, uh, nine hours ago, according to my internets. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, here's one from I Blame the Patriarchy. It's not specifically about Elevator Gate, but it is a discussion on, uh, on um, male privilege again. I can only hope that being raped gives even the most insensitive man some small distaste for raping himself. Once raped, the fantasy is over. Once raped, a man can, for the first time, know that sex can happen without human dignity, and that losing that dignity is the opposite of arousal. But a man never deserves pity for being raped. After all, it's not like he had sex, unless he's a gay man. It was just a little lesson in what it's like to be treated like an object. And then, uh, further in the same thread, this is what all this nonsense amounts to. In short, trans are nut jobs. The bathroom is about the last place I want to be alone with a male nut job. These unfortunate but seriously disturbed individuals belong on the fifth floor in a straitjacket, not in a women's bathroom. Okay, so we've got rape and imprisonment. And, uh, let's see. Try again, Hexy. Female people are oppressed by males. We live in male supremacy. My ill opinion of males is very much a minority opinion, and as such, does, it doesn't matter that I think males are lowlier than females. It doesn't constitute bigotry, unlike the way your misogynist belief that women are only castrated males does. This again in reference to trans women. Males rape because they rape, not unlike the way you're proposing that transgendered males should rape lesbians by fraud. They don't need and don't appeal to radical feminist theory while doing it. Stop blaming women for what males do. If males weren't raping transgendered males because they're homosexual, they'd be raping them because they thought they were female. So no, my playing make-believe with you and proclaiming what I know to be false wouldn't save transgendered males from rape and or murder. And why do you think I should be concerning myself with that anyway when female people are regularly raped and murdered is beyond me. Um, Oh, and that links to a room of our own .wordpress.com, which, if you've ever wanted to see a hate site, there you go. Um, and yeah, these are the people who are taking the side of Rebecca Watson. I suppose they're not representative, but I imagine that most of the people who um, are opposed to her public shaming of Elevator Guy or her equation of Elevator Guy's awkward advance with uh, a system of pervasive misogyny and objectification are, I don't know, perhaps uh, equally unrepresentative. So hey, yeah, my mind's completely been changed. You are so full of shit.